everybody. Muffin's very. No, it's a Munton's Old English Bitter, you dickhead. <sighs> Cheers. But we're not here to talk about that. It's finally come out of the fridge. It's the Bateman's Victory Ale from DTS 1953. The last one of the beers that he brought. I think it was eight beers that he brought me. Um, six percent ABV this one, bottled twenty third of the fourth, two thousand and twenty. Been out of the fridge for about five minutes. Could perhaps due to have been a bit longer out of the fridge, but hey, right, let's not mess about. Let's crack it open. It's looking crystal clear in the bottle. A bit of a hiss there. Some current smoke. Making an appearance. Let's get it poured quick. Ooh, stop there. Rattling it on the side of the grass. Glass. That will do it no good. That almost looked pinky. Look at that uh, carbonation on it. So it's well carbonated. You can see, well carbonated. Clear as a bell. Give it a bit of a sniff. <sighs> Smells like beer. Yeah, it's got those earthy notes, so I don't know what's in it. It's possibly Goldings, Fuggles, East Kent Goldings is on or something like that. Right, I'm going to try and not mess about this time. Let's get in there. Very nice toffee, like a not quite bubble gum. No, it's like a toffee. It's like a sweet, fairly sweet. Very nice. Very nice. A little bit too carbonated. Looks like there might be a bit of sediment dicking around in there. A lump. Let's see if we can get it out. Probably not. Oh, got it. Yeah. Bit of yeast sediment. Because it's so carbonated, even though it's pack, been packed down, it's been in... It's been settled and in the fridge for two months, maybe more, but because of the carbonation, as soon as you release the uh, the cap, the carbonation will start bringing, or try to start bringing any um, yeast off the bottom of the bottle. But, so you've got to pour them quick. The Head is sticking around, but that's only due to the carbonation. As you can see, I think it's it is it. Uh, well, it's bottled, bottle conditioned, but a bit too carbonated, I think. But there again, I don't drink bottled beer. <coughs> Beg me pardon. Right, let's stop waffling. Yeah, there's a sweet. That 
it's got to be crystal, crystal malt or similar ilk. I think you can get toffee malt and other sorts of malt and they're all basically crystal malt. Very nice and slight. Is there a slight berry flavour there? I think there is. <clears throat> Might be a slight grapey flavour. down on it, it's 6%. But yeah, there's a very nice toffee flavour to it. Um, shut up form. Anything else malty? Once I said, uh, let's have another try. Not bitter. So it's an ale. It's an ale. It's not bitter. As you can see, it does have a slight pinkish hue to it. Only very slight. Light, light and golden. You can probably see through it. Right. Uh, yeah. There is right up front. It's got to be a fruit. It's an almost bubblegum flavour. Very slight. Yeah. Very slight. Very slight bubblegum flavour. Not detracting from it at all isn't that it's very nice it's a sweet fairly sweet beer you can taste all those toffee notes of the crystal and subtle spicy notes from I'm assuming the hops Read it in like that, you do get a slight, or it exaggerates the bubblegum flavour. Yeah, definitely. When you do that, you get chucked out to put through slurp in your beer. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice, that. Thanks to DTS1953 for bringing it, and all the others. And the football shirt, that's still not sent off yet. That's ready to be packaged up. Superb. Right, thank you very much. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.